We're going to use a, a, a different variation on this one, an, another combat situation. We always have to look at people that, you know, people, a lot of people play the sport. I like the game of life. Okay, so the sport I play is for hegemony in the street. This is very, very important. So we're going to look at it. Um, two things I need to do is I need to create a shockwave to it's just going to, um, like, like we say, um, the, the three em emphasis on self-defense is always going to come down to A, destroy your opponent's defense, B, uh, surpass his technique, sign, crush his spirit. Okay, I want to take away that spirit. I want him doubting his ability. I want to question what the hell's happening to him. And I just want to create a whole world of pain on that individual. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna just put it in. This could be for someone trying to front tackle me or it could go from a leg pick or whatever. So basically what's gonna happen is, as a person comes in, say he goes for a leg pick. Boom, there it is, I'm already activated. Okay, the minute I activate, this person is low. You want to create, okay. First of all, if he goes for my leg, the choke's on. So the choke is out. There's, there's a thousand things I can do from this position. The main thing is he's stepping into an environment that I can man manipulate really easy. Now, the sad fact is a lot of people do that. They, they see it in, in, in sports, they see how people do it, and they, they go for the leg pick, they try to get the leg pick. Okay, the main thing is to get him off my leg. Okay, so when he comes into this, when he comes in, the first thing I'm is I'm gonna come underneath. From here, I'm gonna intercept this arm, and what I'm going to do is roll, and I'm gonna slam him on his back and try to take the wind out. So as I start rolling, slam from here, I have the arm, I'm just gonna go over the arm, underneath the head, and there's my coefficient. I just took it out real quick. Okay, it's gonna be really, really quick. I'm being, I'm being a little kind, but the throw is gonna be like a steer wrestle. I'm just gonna grab, wham! I'm gonna put my whole key into it. I'm gonna use my core. I'm gonna put my whole core in there to hurt him. Okay, but obviously, we still have to be a little careful on this. So let's look at it one more time. Um, this should be this one, Sensei. Okay, so Sensei goes for the pit. Boom! Up. I read the arms. He's out. Game over. Okay? Now, let's apply it. A lot of people go, oh wow. So we'll just apply it from basic kneeling position. So he'll go in, go underneath, slip underneath the arm. I'm just going to put my head through the window. From here, I'm going to pull the slack out. I'm going to shove it underneath his head. And there's my cut de jamais. Okay, since he has to through the side face. First, he comes in, go and feed, roll. Now, even if his arms are around me, I don't care. I'm going to roll anyway. That will force the arm out. Then I'm just going to come inside, I'm going to face my opponent, and elevate his head as I choke him out. Okay? This would be a variation. I can do it from a standing position or a kneeling position. This is one technique where basic mat work would work really good in a self-defense situation. Once again, it can from be a front tackle, it can be for a leg pick or whatever. Yosh. Okay, ready? Thank you. Do it.